Dead Workers Party, a Smite podcast. Party on Smite number 206, recorded on May 22nd, 2014. I'm the god of the evening, Brent Copeland, and I'm joined by my other gods, Eric. I am Eric. There we go. uh, The god of uh, a black background behind me. And the black god of white backgrounds, Afro. Monkey, <laughs> introduce and yourself. I, I, I'm, I'm Kevin the Sayer. god of being pissed god off. God of lizards. <laughs> <laughs> the god of lizards. That's weird. <laughs> oh wow! Should, okay. Should well, we tweet that out? We're all here. We should definitely tweet that out. That we we gotta, and I'm the god of tweeting things out. The god of lizards has this joined is us. Great. Is that Jim Morrison? <laughs> should I run a yeah. commercial now? <laughs> he's, the, <laughs> he's the lizard king. Oh, Welcome boy. to the. Uh, on Smite. That's what this is called. Mm-hmm. And everyone's drunk except for me. I don't... What? What are you talking, talking about? about? There ain't no Bacchus going on here. What you talking? Bacchus. That's weird. Basically, yeah, yeah, we, have, crazy. we have three Bacchuses hey, on this team. Hey. It's, like a, it's like a match of the day. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, but if you want a Bacchus, go to patreon.com slash deadworkersparty and help us out. There are a lot of great like goals that we have set up. A lot of rewards for anyone who backs us. Different tiers. We have a daily. Po- we have a daily ah. podcast only for patrons. Yes, yeah. for supporters called uh, Morning Coffee. Morning Coffee. It's Where we like spill the beans. It's like mm-hmm. a backstage <laughs> pass to the Dead mm-hmm. Burgers Party. Yeah, and we get personal on that show. Oh yeah, we do. We talk about personal stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We talk about uh, genital warts. Um, <laughs> oh, hey. That actually maybe, maybe not yet, that. Okay, but yeah. I guess you'll be talking about yeah. that tomorrow. They really want to listen to this show now, don't mm, they? Yeah. Did you guys uh, figure out what those warts on my back are? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. I think I want to know. <laughs> hey, guys. What's cracking? Oh, my. Arr. All right. What is cracking? What's cracking? Crack a mm-hmm. lot, so talking about the Patreon stuff, we we've actually been busy doing a lot of stuff. Yep. Uh staying late, getting here early, and not playing as much smite as I wanted to this week. We got a few matches in. Yeah. Or at least I did. Mm-hmm. Uh and you were here with me when we did that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but besides that, I didn't really get to play much, but I did get to play some uh Amir in Siege and Amir he just kinda wrecks house and he's Siege. good, yeah. yeah he's really he's good, good in Siege. And yeah. do you play damage Amir, Brent, or do you go tank Amir? I go speed magic Amir. So you okay? So you do damage Amir? Yeah. Like like yeah. speed movement or speed attack? Movement. Oh, okay. movement. A little okay. bit of attack, yeah, because I'm getting some wing blades and uh, hasten. Fata- uh, but but so you can just things. run around so and freeze people. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, blinking it, over stuff and freezing people and then killing them. Yeah. Like, nice. Just flat out kill them. Ethereal staff is always in my build. Um, yeah. The uh, book where I do more damage uh, on the next Thoth hit. Or? No, no, no. The uh, uh, to- well, the, the one we- the, ne- yeah. the Necronomicon. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the Polynomicon. 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 Yeah, Polynomicon. I was thinking of uh, Evil Dead. Yeah. Because I love is like after he freezes someone, his next hit gets more damage. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Add that onto the poly, and man, people just don't know what happens. They're just like, yeah. I was there, and then there was this big guy. Well, he's really short now, but. He, uh, he, yeah, he's he so killed small, me real man. Fast. I, I, I swear, last, time, last I time I saw him, he <laughs> just got smaller last week, didn't he? <laughs> what were you doing, That's like right. assault? And you're like, did he get shorter? Yeah, he's like a little <laughs> goblin. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be like a, just an ice cube sliding towards you. <laughs> just like, what's <laughs> up? Get my drink. <laughs> and then you'll die, and you won't know what happened. Yeah, That's right. So that was uh, awesome. Eric and I did that, and we won, of course. Yeah, yeah. I I <laughs> actually didn't get a chance to play a lot of uh, Smite this week. I did get to play some uh, Armor 3 with Bit and Deffy Poo, but <laughs> I, I worked a lot this week, and basically I just didn't have enough time for gaming this week. Uh, finally got some equipment ordered at work, so we're waiting on that, but other stuff at work came up, so I just really haven't been focusing on playing a lot of games at the moment. Was it a new computer to play Smite on? That's what you need up there. No, no. I'm not we, saying they probably ordered a few, but... We ordered $28,000 worth of broadcast equipment. Oh, definitely there's a machine in there to play Smite on. Ooh. No, there is not sure. a single computer Should in be. all of that. Oh, wow. 
Really? Just crappy uh, Jerk video faces. cards? That's uh, too bad. Frame sinks and DAs and other crappy stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Jeez. Well, while Afro has not been playing Smite, I have been playing Smite. I've been playing nice. a lot of Smite. Excellent. Uh, I've been especially playing tons and tons of casual uh, con- conquest. Casual? And, um, You're jumping out of ranked? Well, okay, so here's how I feel about ranked. So it's it's about really ranked. stressful. So it's I'm ranked. just going to be full on. Ranked is really stressful. Yeah. And, you know, when I'm playing, sometimes I don't want to be stressed. So, so sometimes it's fun because, you know, you want to feel like you're really good. You know, so you play ranked and your team does really well and you're like, man, I'm a pretty good player. But then the So time, what you're saying the, is is that you don't want someone yelling at you telling you how horrible you are yeah, because you're yeah, not isn't doing that weird? Isn't that weird exactly how I might want what that? they want you to do? <laughs> is there a lot of BM in ranked? Like would you say there's uh, yeah, actually that's one thing I do want to pl- I want to plug this one guy. His name is Scotty Dog. And a couple weeks ago, I was playing a ranked game and I was Sun Wukong. My team forced me to support. I didn't want to support because I'm support is the only role I cannot play. So I was forced into support in ranked. I fed big time because I don't know how to support. Uh, my team was BMing the, the crap out of me, hmm. uh, except for this guy. He was playing Aphrodite. His name is Scotty Dog, and we were losing pretty hard. And he was like, guys, you know what? He knows, okay? Leave him alone. You know, like, cool it. Like, he knows. He knows he's doing poorly. Stop. And he did that repeatedly throughout the match, and we yeah. actually came through and won. Somebody's got because, you back. Yeah. yeah, because uh, the, our Poseidon on our... And I think it was our jungler. No, Poseidon was the jungler. It, we had a... Uh, Maybe our hunter or something. I think it was yeah. Our Apollo and our Poseidon were really really good, and we managed to win. I didn't get a kill. I was zero and eleven as Sun Wukong. Oh like, crap! You suck. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Anyway, I think the real um, I think the real story in this is that they had a, a Poseidon jungler man. Yeah, actually, that was pretty story. funny that that. Turned well, out that right away. I think it's actually kind of viable now because everybody oh, he was. He puts was really like good. everybody is like a, a NASCAR racer when they play <laughs> Poseidon like max out their speed uh, we'll we'll, we'll talk stupid. about that later oh yeah. okay that's a that's a thing All so, right. and but, uh, that's one thing you gotta realize Eric and I have are we're blindsided this week by like mm-hmm. patches and stuff we don't know what's going on so we're gonna be learning well, a lot in this I, show I, too yeah, I, I, patch, will, I will say that they have been a bit inconsistent with picking the days that the patch notes come out yeah because it seemed like at least for the last couple of weeks, that they were focusing on patch notes coming out on Friday. Yeah, I think they're doing it so they can have the play tests over the weekend, and that way they can balance it before they actually release well, it. I mean, regardless of of why they're doing it, they it's weird. They came, you know, they basically said we're we're pretty much going to do patch notes on Fridays, like all the streams yeah. for Smite Game for the official Smite Game streamers who work at High Res. Basically, said for the last at least three weeks that we're we're switching the schedule around to make it easier to do patch notes on Fridays. And then all of a sudden I I look at my email when I got an email from when High Res Kelly was uh streaming today that said patch notes at four, which yeah. would be yeah. three our time. And I'm like, what the hell? That they're not supposed to be till Friday. Yeah. See and I used to have a job where I could sit there and watch the smite notes every time but then i got fired i'm not sure it's because i was watching the smite <laughs> notes or not i mean that could be i guess but whatever uh but now we like work every day like what the crap eric we need to like stop and smell the well, patch and, notes and, <laughs> right yeah. one of the reasons why i was i mean i wasn't really late but i one of the reasons why i got here when i did is because i didn't get ready when i planned to because I planned to get ready earlier to get here sooner. Yeah. But then I saw that the patch notes were coming out. So I stuck yeah. around and watched the patch notes. Priorities, I understand. Yeah. Priorities, <laughs> Um. So anyway, so after the match, because we actually ended up winning, I messaged Scotty Dog to thank him for being such a cool guy. And I actually asked he him said, for said, suck off, you suck, man. <laughs> <laughs> and he, and he <laughs> said, no suck. problem, man. I like being nice to people, actually, is what he said. Uh, and I asked him for some Sun Wukong tips, and it was, it was awesome. And, um... And I uh, had another gesture that I don't know if I should like really talk about or anything, but but I uh, you know he was just a really cool guy. And Scotty Dog, if you're out there, if you ever listen to the show, know that I am eternally grateful for you being such a cool guy in that um, in that game. Um, so anyway, yeah, I've been playing lots of conquests, and I've been working on on Muzin Cobb. I decided he's gonna be my first legendary. Uh, uh, yeah, not Chronos, really? not Naja. I just because of the Dark Whisperer skin. I can't believe I you don't have a legendary all this time. You've been playing like a madman. 
you have yeah, like, I know, right? It's because like, I play like so many people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I have, you know, like four. I have like, you know, probably eleven or twelve gods at least to level two now. Yeah, because of all the playing I've been doing. So, well, that's cool. So you, you've you focused on AMC now. So why yeah. why is that? Because of the Dark Whisper skin. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Skin. And he's really fun actually. Because of a cosmetic actually, like, change. Because of the looks. Yeah, it made him. It made me care about it more because because Cthulhu is like my dog, right? <laughs> Your so, dog. Um, but obviously yes. you like the mechanics and, and but of course yeah I like Amusing Cobb a lot I, I didn't realize how much I liked him um, really until I actually had to play him in a ranked game and I did really well and I was like this is I actually really like this guy this is weird and then mm -hmm. I played him more and I was like this is awesome I'm really pretty good with him too I noticed well, you, you like a lot of ranged characters like mages and hunters and he stuff. He sucks like, when yeah, he like, gets close. It's so really like, is that your thing? Like, to watch. like you like ranged better <laughs> than like you used to be an Arachne fan too way back. But oh yeah, I remember Arachne that? His yeah. first one I was like, I'm buying Arachne. And we're like, dude. But Chronos, you know, range. I I, you know? I really like Arachne though. Yeah, he sucks. Yeah, too. I love Arachne <laughs> still to this day. I mean, I like, had a while. I know, like, what's going on with me? I don't know. I don't You're just so, being a jerk. Would you still play a moose and cob like with that skin if like he was a big like corn on the cob <laughs> and he threw like little corn pieces at people and he was like like uh, Indian corn or just like I would, American? I don't think corn. I would have bought that uh, skin, right? <laughs> Wait, they're both he's the just same corn thing, on right? the cob. Yeah. That's his new like name, and he's like, you know, he's hopping around like a big corn stalk, like, and, like me Mexican corn. I mean, like this, a corn on the cob. Oh, this okay. he's got or two holders. African corn. This it could this be oh. hypothetical. It makes absolutely no sense. It's awesome. <laughs> a, a he can leave corn? his little like corn handlers like in the ground. That's his little like spike things, right? Oh, yeah. So anyway, he comes after like, you. Like, like Haitian corn. So, yes, anyway, definitely <laughs> Haitian <laughs> corn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, but uh, Scotty, wanted... we love you, all of us. I love yeah. you just because you were nice to my friend. Yeah. Thank you. Anyway, I also wanted to plug the the, the team. Scotty, the Denver's that's party. going too far. Yeah, the DWP's team party. The uh, what well, we're trying to you know actually form a good team. We are still looking for people that want to like sub, you know, because we we love the bigger pool to you know choose from. So tinyurl.com slash DWP party, and you should apply. Because we like, we want people, and, and so. it's not DW Party; it's DWP Party. Yeah, there's there are two P's. In Correct. There. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. DWPP Party. Even though, so, which is also even, the name of our party, we throw yeah. Every even year. though Kevin <laughs> is not coming to the DWP. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, yeah. But that one's the Dead sure. Workers Party Party. party. Yeah, this right. is the Dead Workers Parties <laughs> Party. It's the same. That's weird. Thing. <laughs> that's odd. <laughs> Uh, you Eric, know, I'm just throwing oh. this out here. Y'all could just be Dead Workers Party if y'all want to. I'm fine with that. Like, yeah. Just let you know. Just whatever you want to do. Y'all are in uh, charge of that, but just throwing it out there. Anyway, go on. Who's next? But, uh, Eric, go? Eric, yeah. We, What'd you do? This week? Buddy boy. Uh, so uh, a little bit of uh, pretty much uh, smite in the mornings when we, when we show up at the studio and, and work. It's kind of like we got to wake up. It's kind of like a drink of coffee. I've said this a billion times, but, you know, we play once in the morning. Uh, we've been really busy with other things. This week has been kind of a weird week for not really playing a lot of Smite. Although uh, I did play uh, a lot one night because I felt like I needed to get it in because, like, we've been working uh, so so much this week. So I played, like, like uh, I don't know, maybe 20 matches in a row, like, one night, Ooh, just, like, yeah. over and over and just like ignoring everything other than just playing. Uh, I played mostly Loki, actually probably like 99% Loki that night. <laughs> um, uh, and then I tried out Loki. What, one memorable thing was um, playing Loki on Siege. And it really, I was, it, <laughs> it really depressed me about <laughs> like, like I guess it was the team makeup too. Like everybody was complaining and weird. We had a Ymir on the team that like, went ham a lot and i don't even know if that's actually a, a term or not but like basically he just he he would just run into the, a bunch of like it'd be like ymir versus four people and he'd run <laughs> in and be like yeah you yeah. know and it's like dude well yeah, i could totally do it term. i don't know what this guy's it's, problem was yeah, totally so were you, were you playing with brent <laughs> no <laughs> and it was just I, man you know, i you know i'm just saying i went like i don't know like 42 zero and two with a mirror in the last siege like it was crazy somehow <laughs> and I, I was taking four at a time no problem <laughs> oh, that was I, have you. A, I have a feeling <laughs> that uh brent is lying <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can look at my stats you can look at my stats yeah 
No. So I don't yeah. know. Like so anyway, I, I wanted to get into some siege just playing like solo because I had like this is actually I think the first time I actually queued for a solo siege ever. Because yeah. I kinda had it in my head that, that it that's this is not gonna be a fun thing with a bunch of strangers. And it ended and it up kinda, not being Yeah, and it kinda I kinda proved it to myself I, that it really wasn't good. I, I will have to say that actually I now the only time I've queued up solo for Siege has been when it was still like pre beta. Like when it was still you could had to access right. the test servers to get to it. Yeah. And I enjoyed that a lot, but that's just because nobody really knew what was going on. So it was all kind of new to everybody. And you really didn't rage that much because nobody knew you didn't know what to rage about. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. I don't know why we lost because uh, it's the first time I played the game. Yeah. 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 Oh. But queuing up with friends, like in a, a five man party in Siege, has been one of the most miserable experiences I've ever had. <laughs> really? In wow. Yeah. With friends? Because we're all still, you know, we don't all play Siege a lot. So we don't know what meta is developing. In siege, and we play against these teams that, you know, it's another no five man, and yeah. and they're doing things like invading immediately and wiping half of our team within the first minute I of like the, the match. Of like so, Eric and I have been talking about like there needs to be more invades. Yeah, yeah. Like the meta needs to be flipped on its head right now because right now it's too stagnant. Like you yeah. know where the other team's going to be. Well, then you have the advantage. So if they're playing the man meta, you know where they're going to be. So screw the meta. Go kill them and turn the meta on its head and win the game. Like, that's, yeah, that's what's going boring. on right now. Yeah, it's kind of boring. You know, like, w w when I queued for, uh, for uh, uh, Siege, it was like, you know, two or three people on the right blue waiting. And then two people or three, you know, like, you know, half the team on the other blue we're just hanging out, you know, usually jumping. A lot of space bar, right? You hit yeah. a space bar a lot of times because you feel safe. Nothing's going to happen. You're you're watching the counter. You're like, God, oh, come on, minion. Spawn already. You know, it, like, it shouldn't be like that. We're gods in a battleground. We're not just in a waiting room like a, in a dentist's office reading, you know, magazines, waiting to be called back, you know. I don't know. That's just lame. It's like, okay. How about four of us? We go invade the left blue on their side while we keep one guy on our side or maybe one in the middle. Like, change it up. Surprise well, them. Win the game for a change, right? And I'm, I'm not necessarily disagreeing with anyone. Like, I, I basically, when I'm grouped up with my friends because we all don't play Siege, yeah. we don't really have a great idea of the best strategy to begin with. Yeah. So I, it's it's like we don't know what you're to making do. up your meta. You're making it's up your meta it's, it's, as you go. Yeah, yeah. So when you're doing that and you don't know what's what's going on and you are playing against a five man team that pretty much probably probably not exclusively but plays a lot more siege than you do. Yeah. You're gonna get wrecked and there's yeah. there's not much you can really do about it unless you change your way of thinking. Yeah. But until you understand there needs the to be more wards. Yeah. That's the one thing I've seen yeah. in Siege yeah. is wards are not placed. Oh, I know. Like yeah. when Eric and I played the, our Siege this week, like we didn't invade, but I ran all the way to uh, between their red and blue and put a ward between their red and blue yeah. because I knew that's where they would go through at some point. Yeah. Uh, and it helped out. Like we got a, a free, basically a free kill at some point because we, we singled off someone in, in that. And it's like, the more wards you get in, the more vi wards win games. I mean, it, it's yeah, just, it's yeah. just a fact. But I think people are like, like you said, well, where do I put them in this mode? You know what? Mm -hmm. Somewhere, put them yeah. somewhere yeah, right yeah, now. Anywhere, they, right? Eventually, I, I, we'll it, figure out the best play. Pretend I mean, like it's conquest and, and put them in the in the side lanes, like they're gonna gank you, right? Well, know yeah. when people are gonna come in and Throw out. One on the harpy, yeah, yeah, you know, on and, the harpy is a great one. And uh, and also in in this game mode, like. In Conquest, like, there are certain roles that usually don't buy wards simply because they're that role, and you right. want them spending all of their money towards buying items to deal damage. Yeah. 
And that's still true with Siege, but there's still room for them to buy one or two wards every now and then to help out. There's enough people on the team to get a fairly decent where you get the mid harpy warded, get the side lanes warded, yeah. at least on your side of the map. Yeah. To for for that defense to know if you're getting invaded or if there's someone roaming in the jungle that you can possibly gank. You need those wards, exactly like you said. Yeah, and, and so like, and I would say at this point, actually use a sentry for the harpy. Yeah, that's definitely because oh, yeah. you know, yeah. once you use a sentry ward. and, and yeah. if you get you know eyes on the enemy wards that are around and destroy them and, and eliminate their vision, even though they'll, they'll still see when the, when the, the uh, mid harpy comes up, at least they don't know that you're there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so my my opinion is, it doesn't matter what role you are in siege, you have to get at least one ward every time you die. Get two, but at least get one. I don't care if you're the 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 carry or the tank. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, and don't get don't be afraid to get a hog either. Like I had wards every time as Loki, and I have a hog. I'm the only one. The only one, yeah. right? I mean, you know, I, I mean, people spend way too much time like at a buff camp or just ignore them all together because it takes too long and there's too much action going on in the lane to even mess with those. Well, with a hog, I mean, it takes like, you know, a fourth of the time. It's like, it's like bam, 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 just get it and, done. And especially yeah. since when you think about it, the, the buff camps in Siege count towards getting another Siege tower going. They're worth more yeah. than getting kills. Yeah. Yeah. They're, They're more, more to get kills. To get a camp than it is to They're, get a kill. Are they slightly less than getting the full wave of creeps? No, they're more. The they full are, wave of creeps is what, like seven creeps or something? They're worth nine. Sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and there's other tactics that I think aren't, aren't developed yet. Like, I, what worked for us, and I think in our siege, is uh, we saw the towers going up one lane. Instead of like rushing back to buy or something and popping out, we actually held and pushed the other lane. So it's like they've got to make a decision whether they're going to come actively defend players yeah. or go to the siege thing. So they're splitting up. But then when they come over that, you get out of there. Right. Like you go back, then you buy your siege tanks all the way push the other lane. You pop out on that side, and now all of a sudden they're Teleport. split the other way. Yeah. Like it's this kind of divide and conquer, I think, is, is what you got to work on. It's like confusion getting them split up where they're not focusing the they're basically always behind they're always trying to keep up like that's yeah. okay, when you win yeah. the game right right and that's what you don't need to do is get behind that curve uh mm. so you got to figure out how do i you know direct this traffic to get ahead right but, uh, and, and yeah. the last oh, that's thing a lot I'll, of siege talk yeah the <laughs> last thing i'll say about <laughs> siege is do not ignore the silver fury because the there's been monster. many a times, whether I, I grouped up with friends or just went in solo, where my team has ignored the Seeds Fury except for me. Yeah. And then the other team just keeps getting it and keeps getting it and keeps getting that Siege Tower. And I know if, if you're coordinated, you can take down a Siege Tower relatively easily. But if they keep getting it every single time the Silver Fury pops up, plus every time they hit a hundred tickets it's just it, it it's so unsurmountable the amount of damage you have to deal to that tower while they're trying to attack you yeah like that seat that silver fury people just if you're not experienced with with siege which i mean it's a new game mode so not everybody is but they just totally ignore that and, yeah. and just it should be your mid camps it should be your your gold fury <laughs> It should be mid camps. You need it, to it, hit it, it every it's, time it's up. It's Absolutely. Mid camps, Gold Fury, and Fire Giant all rolled into one, basically. Yeah. And yeah. and you shouldn't ignore it. You should you should whenever it pops up, it, and actually it's a little bit, I won't say more important, but it's more critical to get to it, simply because, it. There's a fixed timer, and only one team can get it at a yeah. time, and, it's so just out in the open and people can totally sneak it which you can do with all those others but it's yeah. just the damage dealt with not getting a, a siege minion is just seems so much greater yes i agree and you know what else i agree with what i have what? a message for you gotta go fast Close. yeah we got we got we got mail let's take a look at mercury's mustache let's go 
Let's go. Woo. Mercury, now, I, thanks for the mail. This sack is full today. Yeah, before we start. Uh-oh, we're Uh-oh. going back to Siege, it sounds like. <laughs> and it actually, it is involving Siege. Oh, okay. God. Here we go. Oh, no. Last <laughs> week, someone asked, when do we think that uh, Siege would get a, a tournament, like, competitively? Right. Mm-hmm. And that happened last week on Tier Monster. Mm-hmm. Oh. Code Black was a Siege tournament. Nice. Sure did. That, who was in that? Was I did that. Did you? Did you? No, no, I was no, at work. No, no. Quiet, did you? I won it. You did? <laughs> so, I oh, so congrats. Cute. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. So, so five, you won. <laughs> speaking of, we got some uh, emails in the old sack here. Uh, old Sladek sent us in this Mercury. message. Can I read this one? Sure. Last week, you said that Odin's mountain man skin needed a remodel, which was me, by the way. I said that. This week, Mountain Man skin is remodeled. You're welcome. Do you have any more predictions, oh, wise and powerful ones? I do, in fact, have more predictions. I cool. predict that coming this week, um, the Warriors got all nerfed. That's, well, that's, that's not really a prediction. <laughs> that happened earlier today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's from the future. I think he just gave Thanks for spoiling old Slade Dick later an old lame show. dick. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. I predict that Brent... Uh, never don't be mean. Ever again. Don't be mean. I said nice things to you. I, I predict <laughs> AMC is going to have a skin w- in which he uh, turns corn into a big cow. corn cob <laughs> and yeah! he turns into a corn, like Mexican corn, I Indian like corn, and uh, Australian corn. I don't mean to disappoint, but that's that never going to happen. You don't like it? From <laughs> so I think this Mr. Level is up. Proof. So, Afro high res listens to us. W- proof. W- proof. Would Would you say Afro that that idea shucks? <laughs> I'm not uh? talking to you for the rest of the show. Oh, I have to uh, salute you, Colonel Fullerton. Oh, <laughs> hey! I like that. So, Dr. Uh, Fruit Salad. He, he'd be I'm real just, strong uh, and very I'm husky. i cobble huh? all of you guys. Uh, Dr. Husky. Fruit Salad says, Uh-oh. you should get FG3000 on the show. I love FG. Okay, so I'm going to be a douche here. Who's <laughs> FG3000? He does, uh, he does a YouTube show every week. They're about 10 minutes long where he goes over everything in the... Oh, so it's well, like a should. Minecraft Mondays. Yeah. Well, sure. Well, we but should. for Smite. We, we yeah. know Dr. Yeah. Fruit Salad. We, we trust you, sir. And uh, I think that's a good idea. That's a good time. We'll yeah. Why didn't you do uh, like Smite Saturdays? No, no. Um, <laughs> Smite, uh, Smite Sunday? Now, if you could send us all of his contact information, that'd be great. <laughs> right, or if you could contact him and uh, tell us about, him. Tell him about the show and then give him Kevin's email. Yeah. Maybe even give his uh, uh, mailing address. And if they live near. Nearby, can, can you get a then. pint of his blood for us? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're big on pints of blood. blood. We'll give it with Gabby's. Yeah, we get we already have Gabby's blood in the fr- freezer. So, do we? Yeah, no, uh, Gabby blood pops. You guys did more at the launch tournament than you told me. <laughs> <laughs> we sure did. Yeah, <laughs> so, um, speaking of launch tournaments, this is a really long email, so I will start reading it here, but a good one, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that's what I meant. Of I'm course. not really sure what those two have in common. <laughs> I think they have E's in them. Okay. TV and email. And Just read the damn email. Corn. So this is from <laughs> Rocky Knight. Uh, hey, DWP. I understand that picks and bans are a touchy subject for you guys, but here's my opinion on the matter. Bans are an integral part of Smite. And while some people would think it's pointless to have, here are the other options. No bans in blind pick. Pro players will always learn the best gods, so every... Competitive match uh, will will be with the same lineup on each side. Zeus, Odin, Bastet, etc. Obviously, that gets pretty dull, even if you'd love to see who the better Zeus is. Completely disagree with that, but okay. <laughs> we'll take that for uh, uh, what, what you're saying there. Uh, I agree no- with you, by the way. I agree with Rocky Knight, not Brent. But uh, continue, Brent. Sh- sure, <laughs> sure. Because uh, no, 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 let, let him finish the email. No bans in draft pick. Whoever gets the gods that are usually banned will most likely win, have an unfair advantage, and still most likely end up with dull, repetitive strategies because you can't force a team out of their strategy. Uh, totally. Totally incorrect, but uh, let's uh, move on <laughs> here. Uh, bans allow every game to feel different and exciting. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, showcase the full game by showing more gods, more strategy, and team composition that makes games interesting. Specifically, counter picking really adds an interesting dynamic, like Zapman picking Neath against Uller. Ooh. 
or a matchup that usually ends in Uller's favor, and being able to see how to play against certain gods, even if it's unfavorable. So that's Rocky Knight's opinion. Which Nivik Harris completely disagrees with 100%. Good, good email. Good email. Wait, you, you said just said you, you agreed with him. Disagree? Earlier. Are you no, no, I no, I agree with no, no, I agree. You with You just Brock said that you disagreed with him one hundred. No, I didn't. Yeah. I said I disagree with Brent. I, I heard. I said disagree. agree with him. Yeah. You didn't say uh, Brent yeah. though. <laughs> yes, I did. Did if, you not hear this? It's that? okay. No. Learn to Nobody talk. Nobody heard. It's, it's cool. If you're it's listening to this, I podcast, agree one hundred percent with Rocky Knight. You can <laughs> rewind the podcast so. and listen to that statement one more time. I here's the first thing. Like, I disagree with having a ban mechanic in the game i don't disagree with what? the game maker saying hey these gods are not um they are not uh geared right right now they're not um you know they're over powerful so okay. these are out of tournament play i think that's absolutely necessary and i think that's why bans were put in in the first place was because it was an easy way to kind of let the players decide that yeah but i think they have the stats and they can know better which ones? I don't think players, A, know how to play every god. I think they have their favorites. And I don't think you would see the same five gods all the time. But I do think you would see them more often than not. But I disagree that that's, that's a problem. I think that's actually a good thing. I think mm -hmm. I it's, it's like why we watch certain sports and people go after, like, love a certain player because they love that he is so absolutely good at that position and wrecks the other teams. Yes, but that's, that's the same way with like, Smite Esports. Like, people love Zatman because he's such a good ADC. We don't, I mean, people don't love Zatman because he's a really good Apollo. I mean, some, he is. Uh, that's not true. Some people absolutely do love someone when they, oh, God, I can't wait to see play, like Zatman Ross play Knights. someone. I yeah. can't wait to see so and so play this. Yeah, but I love seeing An I love seeing Anatoly's Ross Snipes, <laughs> but I also you. love watching him play Ares of... in the solo lane in ranked. That's you. Like there, there's other people who <laughs> have different opinions. Brent, did you not actually listen to what he just said? No, I didn't. He was actually <laughs> agreeing with you <laughs> with one player. He said he loves seeing Anatoly do Ross Snipes. Yeah. But seeing Anatoly do Ross Snipes over and over again and just you know, rolling over another team with that one god yeah. is boring to him. That's what I'm saying. I, I think like it's watching pretty much boring to a majority I like of people. Yeah. Damian Tomlinson running over the the uh, other team over and over again every time I see him play. But that's you. Exactly. <laughs> and that's why I'm Take giving that my Prince opinion. Uh, that's that's yeah. the whole point. That's but, my opinion. But you do realize a majority of people that, like the bands. That's... Uh, an opinion. That's their problem. That's their okay, opinion. There's yeah. no poll on it. I have a question. The, and and I will you... say absolutely that you can't actually say that because 90% of the people who play the game do not play with bands. They do not know even the mechanic. So yeah. it's like you we're, can't say they enjoy it because they don't know they enjoy we're it. We're talking to people who watch it. We're talking about. So no, we're, we're talking not. We're talking about, we're talking about both. People though. that watch it, people that play it. It's the same thing and it's different. But, but people that watch esports understand how the bands work. They get really? that part. Everyone? If, you're, if you're playing the game to play Everyone? casual, that's great. No one's making you play with bands. Yeah, they are. If you queue up with five people, you're playing with bands. Yeah, but that's because it's... Yeah, we like that. <laughs> no one has given me a good reason yet for why they belong in the game, except for that's how the game is. That's how everybody comes back to this argument. Is that's how the game is. It's basically what everything boils down to, and that's my problem with it. Have you tried it without... Well, yeah, and yeah, casual conquest. And I is have tried without. It's it, fun, but it's uh, not there. You go. Fun. It's fun. What's <laughs> the problem here? <laughs> so Bob the Titan has an email here. I would just like to start out by saying that I'm a huge fan of the show, and I wish I could tune in more. <laughs> However, I will stay relatively on topic. <laughs> Maybe not after this one. I like I like <laughs> corn skins where you can throw corn at people. That's that's my favorite. Oh, uh, hey Eric, you want to read this one the rest of the way? No, no, it's is too you, long. It's too long. That is a long. Come on, you should know better. Come on. That's a long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. I mean, yeah, come it's on. a long one. It's, it's so here, I'll, let me. <laughs> it's not audible, bitches. Okay, I'll read it. The LDR here. The these are oh, examples God. for Pantheon. Blah blah blah. The DC and Disney skins you've suggested are good ideas, but what about a Dragonborn skin for Ruler? How about a Chandra skin for Agni? So basically, he's asking, what about other copyrighted properties? Hmm. 
Well, <laughs> I like I that mean, you condensed yeah. like four books into like a sentence. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, first uh, of all, I, I'm awesome it, for it. The same problem exists if you've tried to yeah. get Disney skins. Like I would try to get it. any so other cool. copyrighted thing. It just depends on how much money you you're willing to spend because right. some properties are more expensive than others. Yeah, yeah. You know, like the Disney stuff. Probably yeah, you'll be expensive. paying out the ass for that one, right? <laughs> for like, much, but other you know. properties for uh, for other genres would probably be more affordable, but not necessarily in the range that high res would be willing to pay at this point. I mean, they could push yeah. it as cross promotion, right? Like the uh, like think about what Valve did with Team Fortress Two, where you know you'd like buy a game or you buy a game like early and you'd get hats and TF Two for it. Like that's cross promotion stuff. That's, that's right? interesting. What do y'all yeah. think about that? Like kind of artificially coming up with a skin because of a promotion. Right. Like, would that, like, would you go, well, that's awkward that they're doing a Wolfenstein skin for Aphrodite, you know, or uh, whatever. Yeah. That'd be sweet. As long as it fit whatever the god, god that yeah. they yeah. selected, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Mm-hmm. But if they tried to force something, like like you said, a Wolfenstein skin, <laughs> right. a skin on Aphrodite, yeah. I don't think it, unless they got really inventive with that, I don't think it'd work. Yeah. <laughs> However, uh, a Wolfenstein skin on like on her, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking more like Teen so Wolf, the Teen the Wolf on in her, maybe. So no, Teen Wolf three. So, <laughs> well, I was thinking more like huh. Mercury. I'm going to go wolf out. What did he know. say in Teen Wolf? I'm going to wolf out or whatever. Is that what he said? And Anne Hurley. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, on, a little Teen Wolf I, jacket I, on. We like Finn I, I, I guess. don't know. It's, it's like it would definitely have to match both the, the visual look and the personality of the god. Yeah, as long as it guys, be like, I got it. So if it fit, what do you got? What you got? I got it. it. Fit, I figured I it out. Go with and they're it? actually like several months. So if high res, if you're listening, which we know you are all the time, <laughs> maybe um, hopefully not this show. <laughs> <laughs> they probably turn it off already. But anyway, uh, you you have plenty of time to get this figured out. So there's this new the new Flash show. You know, you guys ever have anyone heard about that? No. There's a new TV show about the Flash. Uh uh-uh. uh like the superhero. So you there's it's months down lines. You know it's coming out like September or something. So like Mercury. So what they got to do is they got to talk to DC and make a flash skin for Mercury. Bam! Cross promotion for this TV show and for Smite. Uh, Done. Yeah. Yeah. Cancel. And, 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 I win. Nivik Garris, you can you can send it to me. My name's Kevin Sayer. I'll take my <laughs> commission there. check. See, I Brilliant. thought there was a new Transformer m- movie when I saw Geb One come out. Shh. We're not no? supposed to talk Shh. about that. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I just I just thought of he's something new. He's not a transform. I mean, he how about he how about transforms? But he's a robot. How about AMC instead of honey that he squirts out? Corn. He squirts out corn syrup. I like that <laughs> corn syrup, man. <laughs> or what from, if it's uh, poop with little from, corn in it? From, hey, from, right. even better, right? It's from, like from someone who's eating long. corn and it didn't digest, so it's in the poop. <laughs> yeah, but from going from, back to what Kevin <laughs> just said, are we going to talk about bands again? Oh no, <laughs> no. <laughs> going not. back to what <laughs> <laughs> we're not ever allowed to talk about bands again. On I don't the think show. so. Yeah, <laughs> we're bent like. We're and, banned. Okay, We're and, banned and first of all, it's your fault for putting that email into the damn doc. <laughs> hey, whatever content we can get, brothers. <laughs> but, but going back to what Kevin said about the Flash, I wouldn't really have a problem with that. Because I would either. It, it totally fits the personality and the visual um, uh, uh, aspects of the god, and it, it would be a, a perfect match. Now, yeah. if they could work out that deal where they can say, Hey, this is cross promotion. We have X number of people playing this game. We'll get, you know, we'll. And people that play Smite are the demographic that would watch a TV show like that. Yeah. And they and, are the well, demographic. And they have Green Lantern, uh, Freya. Like she holds well, people up. No, and because be Green Lantern's a guy, uh, but that's okay, Brent. I, <laughs> well, there, hey, there, there were okay, girl okay, Green Lantern. Actually, the, I take that Lantern back. Core, there are Green Lanterns that yeah. I totally take that back. <laughs> but, not not uh, the Green Lantern that's like the hero, but like gotcha, the core. Gotcha. The Green Lantern core has women. So yeah. take that completely back. I'm wrong. But <laughs> so wrong. And maybe even High Res possibly would have to do something like sweeten a deal, like you know. So hey, we'll send Kelly over to. Uh, <laughs> Talk to you about it. Inappropriate to to green your lantern. (laughs) Oh, hey! Whoa. Kevin! What? What? Whoa. Oh, my God. (laughs) What the? He's going to. I was talking about financially, (laughs) sweet. Oh. Thank you, Afro. Let's bring the show back down to earth here. A certain percentage of the proceeds, which, I mean, it wouldn't be a huge amount of money, but a certain percentage of the proceeds from that skin goes back to the the copyright holder. I, I think that's a, a viable 
way to get copyrighted skins into the the into the game but it's just a matter of is it really financially worth it for high res to do it yeah well it's okay so like the attorney skin it, it uh for pull right mm-hmm. they ended up making 150 or 100,000 100, i made them yeah. it, it remember oh, okay so this it was 600 dollars right or six hundred dollars? <laughs> no, it wasn't. Wow, that, that was a, yeah, I don't gems. remember buying that. <laughs> to, to get, yeah, to get six hundred gems, you have to spend fifteen dollars. Yeah, if so, you have no gems at all, you have to spend at least fifteen dollars. So, they put you know five dollars towards the pot, but they made ten dollars basically on each skin, right? More or less. So they made two hundred thousand. Exactly. Or, but they they felt mm-hmm. like a hundred thousand was okay to put towards something else. Mm-hmm. Like to me, that seems, and maybe I'm just not in the business, so maybe I'm stupid. But if like you're trying to promote Flash or whatever, like this TV series, and make a hundred grand off the, you yeah. know, right away, mm-hmm. like that right. seems like a good deal to me. Yeah, yeah. you know. So I, I yeah. think I think that's maybe. I mean, I'll be y'all are right. A lot of people who who bought the uh, Poseidon skin might have been buying it simply because they were putting more money into the pot for the 100k tournament. But I think also one of the reasons a Flash could be so successful is because there's an existing emotional connection with that character. So people be like, this is the Flash in this game? This is awesome. Like, they would want to get it because I think it, I, I'm willing to say if a skin like that existed, I think it would be one of the highest selling skins. Yeah. Like, uh, I think it would be probably... You know, like up very. I think Pulse Sign is probably the highest selling skin they've ever made so far. Um, I don't know. That's a guess. That's a total guess. I think it'd probably be near or higher than that. I, flash skin. I think if they did something like that, I I think they should follow the same like rule of thumb as they did with the Pulse Sign skin, as mm-hmm. they did with um, um, the uh, Athena skin, the Olympic one. Mm-hmm. Where it just or is Pulse Was it limited time? Cause can you get it? Yeah, now? You, you can't get you can't it anymore. Get it yeah. yeah so make time. it a, a limited time thing, like until the show airs, kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like make the end date around when the show airs, and, and basically say if you want to get this skin, you got to get it now, and, and get that basically chunk of change that you can split between you and DC, and then have it in the game and then if you didn't get it during that first round then you're you're just and screwed. then it still exists as promotion for dc yeah after yeah. because people still see this skin i mean they could put something on the card you know like you know like it'd be like the flash you know trademark or something. i don't know it could they could do like a little advertisement in the name of the skin well they they have comic book like trading cards like in real life right, right? exactly make right. it so, make his cards. card an actual card from a trauma uh, comic book like trading cards yeah mm-hmm. how about like a hulk a mirror how awesome <laughs> would that be Arr, like instead yeah. of building a wall it's like he rips the wall up and like pff, puts it down but he's like oh uh, yeah yeah that'd be, that'd be good i like that so action uh, you know that band talk really kind of screwed this show up uh, we went a long, and that's long like shot. I said, you were the one that screwed the pooch when you put it in the hey, dock. Y'all you yelling, well, let's, gonna let's get this, yeah. this last We've got here. a lot of patch talk. We've got a lot of new God talk. But that's kind of, that was just, they talked about it today. It's not in the game yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we might hold off so until after it's in the game. Let's go ahead and talk about the patches next week when we have played after the After it's active, yeah. 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 So, so let's, let's talk do, about this uh, last email. Do this last email here? Yeah. Okay, so from, uh, from Fuklong. Hey, this one's oh. short. I could read yeah. this one. <laughs> Do it. I only know like five words, and I think Do all it, five of them are in here. Okay. Fuklong says, what do you guys of the new pop... What do you jump to and you sing and a stupid short and a ping and, he didn't get the first and a ping ping ping. Okay. and a pung. In his defense, there's a word missing. Oh yeah, I got what it. word I got is it. missing? <laughs> oh, did you I, fix I it for me? Out. Okay. What do you guys think of the new Apollo skin? Either leaked or next patch. This mail was made on Sunday, so I don't know if the skin is coming next patch or what, <laughs> or what. But whatever. I just thought you guys onions. <laughs> I don't know what I that means. I have to admit, that's exactly what it <laughs> said. I just want to said. know you guys' opinions. So. Oh, that's what it means. <laughs> I tried to um, fix it. I saw, I saw the word, and thanks. I tried to fix it as fast as I it could. It was a valiant I effort. Time. Um, <laughs> I, I personally have not seen the leaked, uh, uh, a, a leaked. It's not leaked. Okay, they revealed it. It's a Team Solomon skin. 
Oh, that. Oh, yeah, that's coming yeah. out this patch. Oh. Yeah. So I guess something that's kind of pertinent wow. to talk about is, did you guys see the backlash that no. happened because of the skin? I didn't, no. no. <laughs> okay, uh, people were pissed. Okay, so like wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Before you go off. further, what is the skin? Yeah, I okay, like, so, can you post a link in the doc if you have a link? Yeah, I can do that. The skin is a... Um, so because Team Solomid won the tournament, mm -hmm. they released a Team Solomid Apollo skin that he's wearing like uh, skinny jeans and you know their, their jackets that they wore? Yeah. The on the tournament, so he's wearing like all that stuff. And I'm trying to find it as fast as I can. Um, and so, okay. Anyway, so they did this because they won the tournament. Like they're honoring them, and the the selling of the skin is going to go towards. Uh, here I'm posting it in the doc right there. The selling of the skin is going to go towards um, a Team Solomon Invitational Tournament. So like part of the skin is being cut back to uh, Team Solomon directly. Part of it is going towards making the prize pool for the Team Solomon Invitational Tournament. And then the other part of it is going to be, you know, high res money. So why are why are people getting mad? Ah. So people are really mad because oh, of this. the hype that surrounded the skin. That high res made it sound like the skin was going to be that secret agent Apollo skin that we heard about many, many months ago for Apollo. Do you guys remember that one? Yeah. 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 So people thought it was going to be that. And then it was this skin. <clears throat> And people were, I think, just tr people were so disappointed and really, like, I think, yeah. My question is, is this a skin that basically High res went to Team Solo Mid and said, is this the skin that you want? Like, have them basically say, this is the skin that we want to represent us. I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, you know, I, I have no problem with this at all. Matter, matter of fact. This is something that, that it, this isn't like a new thing. Like this happens in other, like in League of Legends, right? Like a team yeah. will win and they'll make skins for their for the, the whole team. Played in the match, right? for the whole cool. team, they'll make skins for the whole team. At least I like when I played uh, and I was watching the tournaments. The tournament, the big tournament that I watched, then they did that for the whole team. I don't know if they do it every time or or whatnot, but I think this was their first big tournament, and I would I would think it would be cool to have a whole set of like their final match. Um, like all the gods they played, yeah, to have these skins. Oh, yeah, I think that'd be they awesome. They did play Apollo in their final match, but you, know, you guys want to something that's kind of awkward. What? Uh, Team Sol so Team Solomid won the tournament. Their final match, they uh, Young Bay played Apollo. Young Bay isn't on Team Solomid anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, that, that, oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. but which that's, is kind that, of funny. I think that's kind of hilarious. Like he he got traded, but didn't get traded. Yeah, he, he's yeah. on Cloud9 now. And yeah, now, and, uh, and the person that replaced him came from Cloud9, but it wasn't a direct trade. It just kind of happened. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, yeah. It was right. weird. So, <laughs> but, you know, that's awkward. what it was during the tournament, right? Right, exactly. Did he play that in the last match? Yes, in the very last match. See, and so I hope they actually come up with the full team. And Solomid, I think that would be great. We get especially a for the Solomid. Like, when is, when is Solomid's tournament? Uh, they, I, I don't know. They I, didn't really. They didn't say what it'd be. They TB, said it'd be in the next couple months. TBD. I think it. It might have been yeah. TBD. I, that, yeah. I. I do remember looking at this earlier. I just it totally blanked out of my head when you mentioned it, but I think it did say TBD. Now that I think back on it, but yeah, if it's if it's enough time that they can get skins for every single god that was played in that last match, then yeah, I think they should do it. Yeah. I think one of the things that people were also upset about was that this is a six hundred gem skin. Hmm. Well, I mean, usually when I think of something that's sub six hundred, mm -hmm. it's it just like a recolor, a recolor. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. no, 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 no. The the the. So this is how it, I think this is how it actually is in most cases. Um, the then the recolors, you know, are the two hundred gem skins. They just base their new skins. You know, nothing fancy. Right. Remodels are four hundred, and then um, and I actually read a post about this. Re skeletons are the six hundred gem skin. Uh. So they actually have to. Alter the model in such a way that there's new rigging, exactly like a right. new an a completely new animation on the model. For example, the Geb skin, he has the new spaceships flying around instead. Yeah. Or Amuzan Cobb, he has his tentacles that interact in different ways. Right. So yeah. there's complete there's new stuff happening on the model. That's what makes it 600 gems instead of 400 gems. Yeah, no, I, I can see to, that. He has I, to flex I, I just right that. to throw like corn kernels. You know what I mean? But <laughs> I can also see that this is for both. Team Solo Mid and High Res, it's a very special skin because it's the first team to win, uh, the, you know. A huge tournament. Like at their launch event, done. you know. I mean, yeah, it, exactly. it, I mean, not just a huge tournament, the first major tournament yeah. right. for yeah. Smite. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm kind of torn on it. Like, like I, I want them to make money, and I know it takes time to do these these skins. Even like this is not a recolor. Oh no! Right. Definitely so I not. think it definitely needs to be at least a four hundred. Right. Um, yeah. But without, like, I don't know if it needs new animations with, like, if he does something different. I, the, okay, I, so the effects on his abilities are different? Yeah, actually, they're kind of cool. When he does his uh, chariot, when he lands on the ground, it, like, it uh, burns the Solomid logo into the ground. Whoa, I, I like that. yeah, that's, I mean, that's cool. Yeah. That's completely different. Well, the that's, thing is, like, but, anybody, anybody, anybody but change in abilities I, I, uh, like space monkey hoon bats has different abilities but he's still a 400 gem skin yeah. so changing their abilities does not a 600 gem skin make well, well if, and if you if if you think about it like this like anybody could have been rewarded that like it's not like they like them more than they like anybody else it's like right, they everybody had the, the chance to have this anybody can be king right mm -hmm. that kind of thing and they are king so like they deserve it so like they would have done this with anybody. And and earlier when I, I brought up, if this was the skin that, that Solomid chose, regardless of who's currently on Solomid, I can see where High res already had a plan to make a skin or skins mm -hmm. for the team that won the tournament to support something that they're they're doing, in this case, another tournament. And regardless of what skin they chose and what input that they gave personally, they were going to... They were basically were going to charge the same amount of money for it. Well, yeah. do we know the percentage? Like how much they're giving? Because I assume they're not giving the whole gym. Yeah, probably, probably. Yeah. So right. what they, if they, they're they keeping the four hundred? Oh, they, they said uh, it'll go to Team Solomon directly. Some money to the tournament, and I assume, of course, Hyrus is going to take a cut. Like that's implied. They're not just going to. I don't know why they would have a skin that they're making no money from. Right. 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 Well, so that's what I'm wondering. Is maybe they're though. they're basically taking. Either the two or four hundred, and giving the other part to the team. So it's like they're saying, "Yeah, it's kind of a four hundred skin, but we're giving two hundred extra to the team, so we're going to charge six hundred. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and, yeah. and I can see it like that, but it, I think it's a it, it's a poor decision. I don't know. I think they maybe should have agreed to take a smaller cut or something. Well, uh, you got to hmm. keep it in perspective that you're playing a game that is free to play. I know, but I yeah. think it was. I think it 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 put too many people off. Being well, so expensive. But, but you know, you know, people are going to be put off and they've got to pay money. I think their mistake yeah. here was that they had already amped up another skin. I, I agree. I agree with that as well. And I then here they pop something out that people are expecting something and then they get this. So mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Maybe have done both skins or done a different god that was on solo mid first. Exactly. Think about with Athena, right? We got the Red Star Soviet Athena skin and then the Olympic Athena skin. People would have been really mad if there had just been an Athe uh, Olympic Athena skin. Well, but they got both Yeah, at and, the same yeah. time. And the For the same thing, price, actually. That was even awesome. And, so. and possibly the, the, the problem is just the order in which gods were released yeah. recently. If like this was released before some of the more recent gods, I don't think there would be as much backlash about it. Yeah. Now, honestly, I think they they could have said, you know what, we're putting out all five of these gods, uh, but how time works, we can only put them out one at a time, uh, a thousand gems, and you'll get them all as they come out. But you can, buy, but you've got to buy it like you know, yeah, now or something, or it goes up later. Yeah. Uh, or this the skin you is know? also limited. Um, it, you can only get it until the Team Solomon Invitational tournament happens. Yeah, as well. So yeah. So, and I don't know if they'll have time to get them all by then, or if they are even going to do them all. Yeah. It seems like, like, that's, it seems that's like pure, almost they're not. It, yeah, that's I don't pure think they will. speculation on our part, and without knowing when the solo mid invitation was going to be, and, and knowing how much time they have to work with, it's, it's hard to really truly speculate on whether or not they're going to even attempt to do all yeah. of them. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like they're not, but uh, yeah, I think it's, it's definitely an interesting debate. I, you know. I don't know. I'm going to use the free gems they gave me to buy it, so I don't really have a horse in the race, and I suck, so sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably still have to pick up some gems, because I'm... I, under, like, I get it. You know, I get where people are coming from. I think it is um, a little... I think 600 gems is a little bit too much. I mean, well, I understand people but, being disappointed, but I also really don't like how the community reacted. Well, and the other thing is, you don't have to buy the skin. Exactly. It's that's exactly my cosmetic. point. People... Right? It, exactly. Like, yeah. Griping about yeah. something that's completely cosmic. Like, if you like it enough that you are pissed about buying it, then obviously it's good enough for you to put some value on it. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, it's kind of like a weird 
odd skin compared to anything, unless mm-hmm. you're a solo mid fan. Yeah. And so, to me, that's probably a smaller chunk than, you know, if it's Batgirl, well, you know, well, or yeah. Catgirl, right? Yeah, well, yeah. And, and, So, and, you got to charge a little more to get the fans Hulk. who are happy for this. Well, yeah, and, and right. the thing is, is that if, if you're, especially if you're a solo mid fan and you're bitching about this, then shame on you because this yeah. is going to support something yeah, that Yeah, support your behind. team. You're getting a skin that you love. You know, so it's, it's, you know, it's like, say, think about it this way. If one of your absolute favorite bands in the world, musicians, wasn't a huge band, and they said, hey, we're going to make this skin for your band. Mm-hmm. No one else knows who the hell they are except for you. You love this band. They know they're not going to get as many people buying the skin because no one knows who it is. And this is different because most people who, you know, play watch competitively probably know who solo mid is yeah but there's probably a lot of people that join free to play they're well, like who the hell is this and that's a weird skin well, for god i'm not buying it yeah. but on the flip yeah. side so i might have to go up for that i mean okay. for for people who watch competitive play not everybody's a fan of solo mid that's true so they might not buy it just out of spite yeah or just buy it to feed with yeah out of smite. Yeah, out of smite. <laughs> to yeah. Buy to feed with. Yeah. That's a good idea. Here you go. I hate solo mid, so I'm going to play Apollo and feed every time with this stupid jacket on. <laughs> so, yeah, I think maybe that's part of it. It's just a smaller pool of people that they think are going to buy it, so they got to mm-hmm. make the little extra. Yeah, I, I think so, too. I, don't I would just like it. to say to people, you know, that what, what we just said is absolutely right. You don't have to buy the skin. You're entitled to not like it. That's fine. You don't have to like the skin. But you also don't have to buy it. If you don't like the skin, don't buy it. It's that simple. Vote with your money. Like, that's how these things work. I just, I know I could never look like that in jeans that tight. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have to buy it just so I can like, hop around and pretend it's me. I mean, I mean, I mean look at his. He's jeans, a nice ass. In jeans that tight, my mm-hmm. ass looks fabulous. Now I got to turn <laughs> the screen. Thanks a lot for that one, Kevin. <laughs> All right. All right, that was a great. No, it was a there. sucky show. We apologize yeah. immediately. We'll never talk about bands again. Brent and I again, love each other. I will just point so out. Oh, it's my fault. Jump on me again. Come on, yell at me. Make me cry. I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> Start playing. Then we were yes. all happy at the beginning of the show. Remember that time when the show started <laughs> before you put we that in all the, like, the dock. Super and then we yeah. talked about bands and we jumped the shark. And we were super happy about each other. Shark jumper. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to tell you about something really important. Does this have to do with Patreon? It does. Oh. Okay. You can support the Dead Workers Party at Patreon slash Dead Workers Party. And basically... Wait, is there a .com in there somewhere? Yeah, patreon.com <laughs> slash Dead Workers wow. Party. We're getting no Patreon. <laughs> you can I also do. call us. Well, well, uh, you didn't let me finish the, the, the whole two. Patreon. Oh, yeah, he's, he's okay, got go, ahead, go ahead. There are multiple tiers that you can support us at. We have several goals. There's the damage tier and the healing tier. Oh, and the pirate tier. I thought tier. you were going to pirate there. Ah! <laughs> I thought you were going to put something in creative, and you just went in a totally different direction. Oh, you started throwing corn at people. Wow. I pooped it out in the corner still there. It was really weird, Doctor. I give up. Corn what's syrup. The, I give what's up. What's the just blood? Kevin just continues. What's the you blood doing to my you What's corn got corn us stool? Oh, I mean, six, six, Kevin. Two, seven, three, six, eight, two, six, zero. That's a good phone number. It's really sexy and quiet. I want to say this. And next time, if you want to hear Kevin talk about the phone number, <laughs> just listen to the show and we'll... We'll and let us sure know. He talks about the phone number by calling us, and then he'll they tweet us out. It. He'll tweet us out really hard and long tweets. You can also give us it iTunes tweets <laughs> that your mother will love, and she's bent over tweeting. And you can also and submit <laughs> your ideas at smitesubmit.deadworkers.com. And tweet. Don't forget to tweet your and ideas. We promise we won't talk about bands tweets. ever again. Your comments. Oh, what what is that one thing that uh, everybody's got to do uh, around does, the world? Does it rhyme with and, and dawn? All, and all the pantheons? I think it does rhyme with dong. Not dog. Oh, dong. Dong. Dong, dong? Like dawn in oh, the morning, yeah. not like dong. Yes. That's but the wrong sure word. Make sure dawn Just that you remember it. to it is smile on. on. You are now at the end of another episode of On Smite. 
a podcast brought to you by the Dead Workers Party. Woo-hoo! Listen every week by subscribing on iTunes or by visiting smite.deadworkers.com. Watch the episodes on youtube.com slash deadworkersparty or see the live show at deadworkers.com slash live. <laughs>